everyone, and welcome to a Thursday edition of The Squeeze. I am Tyler Conium. Thursday already. The weeks, when you do this every day, it's interesting to see how quickly the weeks seem to go and how big the weekends have become. There's so many sports going on right now, so much stuff upcoming. You've got Toronto FC starting their season this Saturday. You've got in the OCAA, the Sheridan Bruins, my alma mater, they're in the March tournament as well. You've got golf. You've got the NBA is back tonight. You've got the NHL. Let's go. This is and this is the again the fun part about. Uh, I've talked about this before. My the favorite part about doing this is not necessarily the bets or the winning. That stuff is great. It's the talking about the sports, following the storylines, going from one season to the next, going from you know the Super Bowl at this point was almost two weeks ago, and you've got spring training here, and how one sort of just rolls into the next, and it's the best, man. Sports is just the best. It's the best drama. It's the best reality TV you're gonna find. It's the best. And it's the bets, too. So last night, we had a 1-2 and two night. I was a bit bummed about this. We hit pretty early out of the gate. We hit the Jets and the Islanders under 1.5 in the first period. And then the Arizona Coyotes. That was a bit of a flyer. Anyway, I knew it at the time. It was the last day we were betting just hockey. It was plus 180. They lost 6-3 to the Flames. So that wasn't close. And then the Blackhawks and the Stars. The Stars lose this game to Chicago 4-3. to three, So it goes over by a goal. And there were four goals scored in the second period. Three to one, Chicago outscored Dallas in the second period. So it is what it is. Down 1.1 units on the day. We're down about three units this week. So we've had, I don't think we've had a losing week on the squeeze yet. And I don't plan for this to be one either. But we do have a little bit of a hole to dig ourselves out of. Down three units. But like I said, the NBA is back. I'm going to have a lot of bets today. Three here. And we're going to, if you follow me on Twitter, at Tyler Conning, there's going to be some more stuff going on. This board was difficult, I will say, and you will notice when you look to the side, we're paying some juice today, and you either can pay it, you don't have to pay it, you don't have to follow any of these bets, so I say fade or follow. But we're paying some juice today because I poured over this a big slate, whether it's the NHL or the NBA, there's a lot of games today, and the lines look pretty sharp. The spreads look really sharp in the NBA, but... Uh, I think there are some opportunities and there's some parlays, some money line stuff that we're going to do. But we'll start first with the NHL. We've got the 27 and 20 Calgary Flames visiting the 34 and 18 Vegas Knights. Vegas is 17 and three at home. Calgary is 12, nine and seven on the road. As we mentioned, Calgary is coming off a 6-3 drumming uh, of the Arizona Coyotes yesterday, which really makes me like the Vegas Knights tonight. Playing on the second half of a back-to-back is um, Calgary who played in net last night for the Calgary Flames. So they got Dan Vlader played. Feely made 11 saves. 11 saves? God, Arizona's terrible. So Markstrom's expected to be in Knights. I need a great season last year, but he hasn't been that good this year. He's got a 2.93 GAA and a save percentage of 8.89. Hill's expected to get the start for Vegas. He's 14-5-1 with a 2.55 GAA. Vegas is playing very good hockey. We're just taking the money line. It's juicy. It's minus 140. We're paying the juice. It's Usually I don't get this high up to the 140s, certainly the 150s. But in terms of the NHL slate, I do like this game a lot. Okay, Flames are 0-4 in their last four games following a win. They're 1-6 in their last seven in the third game of a 3-4 and four situation. Vegas come into this 4-0 and in their last four home games, 5-1 and in their last six overall, 4-1 and in their last five against the West. The last seven times the Calgary Flames have visited Vegas, they've won zero times. Favorite is 9-1 and one in their last 10 meetings. Home team was 12-2 and two in their last 14 meetings. Flames are 2-5 and five in their last seven overall. So I really like the Vegas Golden Knights here. They haven't played in a couple days. Calgary's coming off the second half of a back-to-back. Arizona to Vegas is a quick travel, but nevertheless, they did play last night. So give me the Vegas Knights on the money line, minus 140 at bet365. Now, the NBA is back in action. Thank goodness it's been nine days. And even though we've been really profitable in the NHL, and hovering around 500 in the NBA. I'm excited to bet basketball. We are now officially in the second half of the season. We're officially on the road to the playoffs with around 20 to 22 games left for a lot of teams. So especially with the play-in, you sort of, you, you know now, right? So the Toronto Raptors thought we were going to be sellers at the deadline. They weren't. They acquired Jakob Pertl. They're going to be going for it. 
And I like, uh, well, we'll get to that bet, but we're going to start with Denver and Cleveland first. Um, the Denver Nuggets are playing the Cleveland Cavaliers. This should be a great game. You've got Denver 41 and 18. You've got Cleveland 38 and 23. But the Cavaliers, why I like the Cavaliers minus two here at, my, at basically even money to win by a bucket. Cavs are 25 and six at home. Denver Nuggets are only 14 and 14 on the road. So they've been an, an incredible home team, pretty average road team. Coming into this game, Cleveland has won eight of their last 10 games. And their last game before the break, they did lose. It was a 118-112 at Philadelphia. But previous to that, they'd won seven straight basketball games. They're playing very well. Now, the Nuggets are playing very well as well. They're 6-1 and ATS in their last seven versus a team with a winning record. Cleveland is 4-0 and ATS in their last four following a loss, which is good. Cleveland is 7-1 and ATS in their last eight following a loss. 6-1 and in their last seven after allowing 100 or more points uh, against each other. Denver has been pretty good. So the last time that these two teams met, Denver did win 128-108. That was January 6th of this year. It's the only time they've played this season. But Denver is dealing with a bit of an injury bug. Jamal Murray is expected to play, but he's had a bit of a knee injury. Aaron Gordon is out. Reggie Jackson is out. On the flip side for Cleveland... Dealing with Osman is probable, and as we know, Ricky Rubio is out. I think Donovan Mitchell is going to be really motivated in the second half of this season. Coming off the All-Star game, it was in Utah in his old stomping grounds. And I think uh, they're just going to be really good at home. They've got a very good home crowd. It's only by a bucket, and it's essentially even money. And I think the best player on the floor, who is Jokic, but I think Donovan Mitchell is going to be able to take over this game a little bit. I think he's going to have a big game. And uh, who knows how long Jamal Murray is going to play. So give me the Cleveland Cavaliers at home for uh, essentially even money to win by a bucket, minus two. And now the last bit of the day we mentioned, obviously, uh, my hometown Toronto Raptors. I know a lot about this team. Very excited for tonight's game. They come into this 28-31. Raptors are going to be gunning for the the buy-in now. There's essentially no point in trying to get the lottery and get the 10th or 11th pick. They're going to be going for the playoffs. That's how Nick Nurse operates. That's why they acquired Jakob Pertl. Uh, OG Ananobi is expected to be back from injury tonight, and the Pelicans are still without Zion. Without Zion, they've not been good at all. So they've only won four of their last 10 games. Pelicans are 1-4 in four ATS in their last five road games, 1-4 in four ATS in their last five Thursday games. Pelicans are 6-18 and 18 ATS in their last 24 road games versus a team with a winning home record. I'm taking the Raptors. The, a lot of places the line is minus 5.5, minus 6. I did pay the juice to buy it down to minus 4.5. I think 5 five is the key number here. I think the Raptors win by 5. I don't like 6. I don't like anything higher than 6. But I do like 4.5. Larry Nance Jr. is probable for tonight, but again, Zion is out. OJ Ananobi is expected to make his return. Thad Young as well, and Gary Trent Jr. is probable. Raptors have been much better at home this season. They are 18-13 and 13 at home. New Orleans is 10-19 and 19 on the road. So despite being a 30-29 and 29 team, they are way under 500 on the road. Um, Toronto Raptors are 4-1 and one ATS in their last five home games versus a team with a winning record. Uh, so they've been playing teams very, very well at home. And when you look at lately, in the last five games, uh, Toronto is 3-2 and two ATS in their last five. New Orleans is 1-4 and four ATS on the road in their last five, as I mentioned. Just straight up, Toronto's 4-1 and one in their last five home games. New Orleans, not only ATS, but they've lost four of their last five road games as well. So I'm taking the Toronto Raptors. I think Nick Nurse is going to have them motivated. They're coming off nine days of rest. I think some guys are going to feel a little bit slighted. Yeah, Siakam was at the All-Star game, but he was a late injury mention. He didn't play very many minutes, even though we had 12 points. Van Fleet, we'll see. But I think the Raptors are going to be able to take this one without Zion. I think Proto will make the difference down low without an inside presence for New Orleans. So give me the Toronto Raptors, minus four and a half for minus 135. That is at DraftKings. And that's your Thursday card. So I like the Vegas Golden Knights on the money line, minus 140 at Bet365. I like the Cleveland Cavaliers, minus 2. That's minus 110 at Bet365. And give me the Toronto Raptors, minus 4.5, minus 135 at DraftKings. Feel free to drop a comment if you're fading or following. As always, you can follow me on Twitter at Tyler Connie for more picks and props throughout the day. TikTok and Instagram for just the picks portions of these videos and audio versions available on Apple Podcasts and on Spotify. Big weekend coming up. Lots going on. Let's talk sports.